everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you around the beautiful Cape Town CBD. Uh -huh. Voted best city in the world more than once and we see why. <laughs> well of course we're going to start walking down Adley Street. It's got some beautiful buildings. Uh -huh. <laughs> it really is. What's really cool is that the one, that one, is in the style of the really old ones around it. For those following along on the map, this is actually Long Market Street, and you can just make out Adley on top there. Oh, Green Market Square. Put that in your diary, it's coming up soon. Down there. What's really cool about walking on these streets is you've got the history right here that you can actually touch. This is actually the first national bank, but it was probably a Barclays original. Look at the size of these doors. Thanks for the scale, Rick, but you don't even come up even a percentage of the way up these doors. And they've also got cool pillars up above. Epic, epic old building. To let because the First National Bank has now moved to a big glass building. This is the old Standard Bank. Absolutely amazing building. Not sure if the Standard Bank is still there or not. I doubt it. That smell of onion you're smelling is actually from the Borovoska. Oh, wow. That smell, you smell it from the top of Adley at the park. Yes. <laughs> Look at all these onions and... They're making Borovos rolls. Yeah, there's a Borovos roll, South African four, bro. Uh, awesome. Like, yeah, but you know. We've got the Borovos roll there, and of course, the beautiful Standard Bank there. But I'm just going to swing you around because it's the flower market. It's called Trafalgar Place. And they've got beautiful flowers surrounding by mega structures. Let's go check out some flowers. I had no idea. I know, I just thought there was one. This is a monument to a guy who did good things for the poor people, which is awesome, but right behind it is a Gotham City clock tower. This is the one part that's inside, and I think it was actually an old post office. But check out all these, I don't know what you'd call them, they are half cut into the, the stone. There? It's a freeze. These are freezers. This is the old information. You come get your information about accommodation and tours. And they have the old, the proper brass uh, paper things, but it's all about the walls. Look at that. It really does, it really, really does. I'm just going to zoom in on this one. Oh, awesome. <laughs> How do you turn around? Someone actually came up to us and confirmed that this was the post office. Now there's a tiny little one here that's actually closed, oh well. But there are more than one reason to come here. It's not just about the art or the beautiful old building. There's also some really, really cheap shopping. And of course, the epic dome above. <laughs> awesome! Fried chicken corner, KFC tasty gallows <laughs> and chicken licking. And this massive shopping center here is actually Golden Acres and believe it or not, most of it is underground. That massive construction down there it's going to be the new train station. For those following along on the map, that's the shop right and the Golden Acres across there. I'm just going to swing you past the beautiful Ricky. <laughs> Onto Castle Street. And this will actually take us to St. George's Mall. And here we are. 
St. George's Mall. Uh huh. Ah, it's not like any mall you've ever known because it's free to the sky. <laughs> it's actually quite a few streets down here in the main part of Cape Town. The city of Cape Town has actually got a lot of information, so look out for it. technically runs parallel to Adderley Street. Waldorf Arcade. I see that you can probably go through there and end up at Green Market Square. It does say that, but I'm not 100% sure. I know there's lots of things to see on the street. Oh, this is Short Market Street for those following along, that we're walking along. But also, look up. The buildings are still pretty epic around here. Absolutely. I've got a map so I can show you where we've been walking. We came down Adley from about here. Right, and we went down, then we went through the, the flower cellars, mm -hmm. and that's the Lightfoot Memorial. Then we went into the old post office, which is here. Then we came back and went onto the corner and saw all those fried chickens. Ah, uh -huh, fried chicken. <laughs> and then we went down Castle Street, and now, and now, we've walked along this way to guess where we are, guess where we are. <laughs> you are here. And that's Green Market Square, which we'll go to next. Awesome. Well, this is Green Market Square. As you can see, they have the old cobblestones, which is pretty cool. And this was one of those places where they used to come and sell fresh veg and things back in the 1900s. But now, it's mostly curios. But still surrounded by the beautiful old buildings and a truck. But I was trying to get the church behind that. Isn't that just the way it always is? There's going to be a truck in your way when you're trying to do a film video. I love how they've left some of the industrial stuff. Oh, this is a really great place to come get some food. Top tip, top tip. Top tip and it's cheap. Goods building. Cool old bird. Used to be the reserve, maybe, I don't know. Well, oh, this is where you can come get your free Cape Town walking tours. The guys only work walk, walk for tips. <laughs> and up ahead, there's something cool. Is it not on the street? No, it is on the street. Yes, cool. over there. We'll show you in a second. <laughs> yeah, taking our time, guys. And it's not this, this beautiful pillar thing. It's actually over there. Okay, wow. But we're coming for this innocuous, is innocuous the right word? Looking piece of concrete with flowers around it. Yeah, everyone, this is actually piece of the Berlin Wall. And right behind it is a huge church. This is Parliament Street. And Spin Street. There's some beautiful art there as well. Look at that building. Wow. Maybe bicycling. <laughs> They're called spinners. And then here, this building is the National Mutual Life. And over there, I'm going to show you this now. But we will go past it. That is actually Fane, one of the most famous restaurants in South Africa. History everywhere. Oh man. Some of these buildings are quite spectacular. And what's awesome is they're being looked after by KFC, believe it or not. I think this used to be Speaker's Corner. It does say so at the top there. Let me just zoom in a bit. Speaker's Corner, right? And you used to be able to come and talk here. Freedom of speech was allowed. You could say anything you liked. That's pretty awesome. Now it's ramen head, Japanese noodles. Looks a little industrial in there, but this tiny little sign says it's Fane, which means it's a one. The number one restaurant in South Africa, and like in the top 50 of the world. Wow. Just down there is Fane, 
And if you come along here, you'll see this beautiful building. But it's what beneath it that is awesome. Eastern Food Bazaar. The iconic Eastern Food Bazaar. It can get really busy, but the queues move very quickly. <laughs> the flavor on that is mm. absolutely amazing. The garlickiness and the, the steak is a little bit of spices. This is the big church, Krutakak. And it's got a clock tower. Epic. And they had to build this building around the clock tower. Yeah. Even more epic. <laughs> cool. The obelisks of Krutakak. I'm not actually sure when it happened, but at some point, this became like a really, really trendy part of Cape Town. I think genuinely trendy with coffee shops and ramen head and fane and things like that. And the new mutual, before there's the old mutual. Yeah. And there's McDonald's, of course there is. I can't remember what cathedral this is. I think it's St. George's, but that are the arches arches for Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Oh, is this his church? Yeah. Okay, awesome. But we're actually going to head into the park now, which is right, right through then. From Adley Street. <laughs> yeah, we are still on Adley Street. Really beautiful. And where else are you looking for it? This is Adley Street, and I'm going to thank you for presenting it. And can you present Wales Street? And do you know how it's Wales Street? I'll have to zoom a little bit. But that's Boat Carp at the top of Whale Street. This is the walkway. I think I might take you into Hyperlapse. Oh. Company Gardens is a great place to come take a breath. Full of nature and fresh air and squirrels. We'll show you some squirrels. <laughs> yeah. They will come and mug you. Bring nuts. Hey buddy. Oh. oh, he's looking for his nuts. Beautiful spot to check out the mountain from. <laughs> he's buried something here and they came and dug it up and now he can't find it. Here come the ducks. There go the ducks. <laughs> well found, little one. Oh, he's got it in his mouth. Off he goes. Kind of creepy. <laughs> I just feel Hitchcock music. Uh huh. Even a seagull in on that. <laughs> so we've been magically transported up to the top of Cliff Street. Well, we would have taken the bus, but we walked instead. But there's the three towers, as Ricky calls them. And of course, Table Mountain on that side. Let me just swing you guys around. Walking down Cliff Street all the way to Long Street, there's a Thai restaurant. There's a Vietnamese restaurant, and we'll show you, there's tons of actual restaurants in this little corner up here. Nice! In actual fact, there are a lot of restaurants here. Yeah, no, Cliff Street has trendy restaurants and affordable restaurants. And I love 
It does. I mean, it doesn't look so great at, at the moment, but when you actually look in, which we'll do in a moment. So this is our local. Very popular spot. And it's got beautiful flowers and things. Stunning. Wow. Let's come do something. Definitely. This is little fish here. <laughs> <laughs> look at this place. And, and just, it says dress code fancy. Wow. That's actually a double brandy and coke. Oh, for 40 mm. rand. And two beers for 70. Nice. Vortex. My favorite is Istanbul. I assume it's like a Turkish place. Istanbul. <laughs> There's a bit of wind. <laughs> Labia Theatre, which is one of the original theatres, and a lot of these places have, um, like this, a special offer, two burgers, and you get two tickets. So you grab your burgers, grab your tickets, and head off to the theatre, which, awesome. if someone knows where it is, please let us know. Man, a great view is the Table Mountain. Yeah, huh? And a really cool tacos. French tacos. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a roof garden. Oh wow, look at that, it's a chimney. Uh-huh. Red really brick old. chimney. I wonder what it's for. I don't know, should we go walk down there and find out? I want to, I really want to. Oh, as we're getting closer, it looks like it's in a security area. Uh, but there seems to be an opening. What is it? Mount Nelson Hotel team members interest. It's part of now Mount Nelson. But what is the chimney? So there's our chimney. And I'm just going to lift you guys up over the fence a bit and see what we can see. Okay, I'm not quite sure, but awesome find. Check it out. The chimney's here and you've got all these old buildings next to it. It is part of the Mount Nelson, but what? What part of it? It's really old. It's cool. I think the first rule of doing a walking tour is don't plan it and if something calls you off to a side road go and check it out you can always get back on track which we are we're back onto Cliff Street Arnold has a breakfast special before 9 for like 45 rand or something really? yeah and they're right opposite the Mount Nelson we can even make it here before <laughs> <laughs> so the fancy Mount Nelson Hotel they, the, do a, they do a great afternoon tea. They do a proper English afternoon tea. But you can see the, the three towers and the chimney. That's the little chimney there that we saw from the other side. This is Innovation Studio Yan, which they always call Ian, my brother. <laughs> oh, do you think this was an original picture of what it looked like through the window? That is so cool. Walk past in your red. Awesome. Proper wrought ironwork. And look at the windows, uh-huh. This has got to be original. Cool, now it's a wellness center. And across the road, you can hear the kids being up. It's yeah. the young family, the junior school. We started at the high school. Yeah, we started up at the high school. And now we got the junior school. So they have to walk uphill to get educated. <laughs> if our timing had been better, we'd have been able to take the bus. Here it comes, 113. That would have been our bus. <laughs> We're now hitting the area where digital nomads go. It's like got workspaces and and restaurants yeah, with good working areas. Let's use our keywords correctly. Co-working areas. Yeah, there's a, a <laughs> workshop 17 just ahead there. But also these places are well equipped to have people come and use their laptops and uh, get internet and stuff. And also really trendy places and new ones always coming along. Super cool. I don't know when they built this, but this is Lifestyle on Cluth. It's at number 50, it actually says it. But it's got some places. Let's go check it out. Hi. Kalahari Kudu Biltong. Uh -huh. Eric, he's got some. 
Can I have some? Also great for sharing, or don't. <laughs> Well, our mouths are a bit full of biltong, we're still eating it. But let me show you some of these shops as we go down. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Haagen-Dazs. Mm. Ketchup, Boulangerie. <laughs> Noodle box and sushi box. People still post letters. I think we're getting into the trendy area now. And weirdly, when I first saw it, I thought it was the couscous kitchen. I didn't really read it properly, but there you go. And there's a poke, which is a uh, pokey bowls. Thank you, thank you. And they've got a nice place for swingers. Thank you, thank you. Ah, workshop 17. It's a co-working space. Cliff Street House. This is quite a nice place. I was walking here, actually it was exactly here. When a smartly dressed guy came running over to me, he had a walkie-talkie in his hand and everything, and said, oh the streets are closed, you can't keep walking down here. And I was like, wait what? And apparently you can buy a permit to actually walk on the streets when they're closed. People say, stopping to say hi. Very friendly city. <laughs> but uh, so the, he offered that so I could go with him to the ATM to buy, buy the permit. Uh, I of course have heard from the CCID that this is a fake trick and they just want you to buy, they just want you to use your ATM card which they're going to clone and then draw out all your money. So don't do it. If they say the road's closed, it's not. You don't need a permit to walk the streets. We've arrived at Long Street. Oh, the man went red. Quickly, get across. So we started up here at Clear Street, right at the top. Oh, wow, yeah. And then we walked, and we walked, and we walked, and we hey, walked. Hey, look up there's the Lady of Theatre. Okay, there it is. Awesome. Okay, so cool. we can actually find it now. And we're uh, out here. But we're here on Long Street, and we're going to head down Long Street and just see what this area is like a bit. Start on Long Street, we're going to have to cross the road because they're doing stuff, but look it out to keep a lookout. As on... Long Street. Butterfly. Is it a butterfly or is it eyes? They look like eyes to me, Rick. Butterfly eyes. Like eyes. <laughs> Legends Barbers has always got a queue. Always got a queue. I've never seen it not have a queue. And you get loads of these um, little um, smoking places in Cape Town CBD. Yeah, a lot so, of them. What are those things called? Shisha. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. They're, they're hubby bubblies. They're like, uh, they call them shisha here, though. More than I've seen anywhere else. 1862, that orange building. Oh, yeah, yeah. Long Street has got so much history. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Ricky spotted this place. The croaker, it's called. <laughs> but look at that, you can get 30% off. But look, you can get a pizza, which is like just the epitome of Cape Town, bacon, feta, and ever, for 30 rand. Small, but anyway. Yeah. Awesome. Always gotta look after the deal. And it's like new places just pop up. Not the Pedro, the Pedro's been here forever. But what's that place next door to it? And Ricky's standing at an institution, Mama Africa. You can tell by the building. Wow. Well, well, look, look, look. That's pretty cool, just be kind. And we're about to be run over, so. <laughs> Down there is the rest of Long Street. I'll put a, a, a thing here that you can click on and go see. I'll walk down the rest of Long Street. <laughs> well, anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>